big plan. Hey, RJ Gottlieb here, uh, just reviewing the Big Board Bash weekend. Uh, we first went out there, we had just added uh, a new power steering system and a new cool suit system. And putting in new systems, there's always issues. And my team was completely on it and the power steering worked great uh, right off the bat and the cool suit was like amazing. Um, there was a couple issues, uh, minor ones. One of them was that the alternator now isn't big enough to feed the power for the two new electrical units we've added for the cool suit and for the power steering. And also the power steering had to be adjusted because it was, it was actually doing too much power steering at first and so we adjusted it back but that was an easy change. So easy stuff, uh, the, the crew did a great job and it makes the car a lot easier to drive and a lot more enjoyable with the cool suit. Um, so we were out there using that right away, testing the car. Uh, early on I spun the car. Um, very embarrassing, uh, should never, RJ and Big Red, that should never happen, but as I say, that's racing and it does happen. I, I screwed up, this track was cold, tires were cold, gave it a little bit of gas, broke it, you know, Big Red, a lot of power, broke the tires loose and I spun, so. Very embarrassing, and what can you do? And then I couldn't get the car started, so they had to pull me back in. I mean, when I say I spun the tires and then spun the car as a result of spinning the tires, I mean, it was like eighth throttle, and I'm not even kidding. And you'd say, well, then how do you drive the car at all? And that's because, again, the tires were cold, the track was dirty. So big red spins, and you gotta drag it in all dirty and spend like an hour cleaning it off. It shouldn't happen. <laughs> gotta apologize to the crew for all the dirt. And also going off the track, you know, it's so amazing. The front splitter on that car is so low that just going off the track damages it. And so not only did I have to go off the track, but I had to be pulled back on to take, be taken back to the pits. So that totally damaged it and that was like another hour repairing that. So that was not fun. But then we got into the first race. Uh, I qualified fourth. Uh, one of the guys didn't show up, so I started the race third. I fell back a couple of positions on the start and then made my way back up to second. Was very happy with that flag race. Um, they were actually inverting the race the next day. So because I finished second, I was supposed to actually start second to last. And then when the race began, the first place guy uh, broke down and didn't show up. So I was actually dead last. And I was just about to get going after they set out all the other cars. And of course there was a stagger too. Like whatever time you qualified at, um, they would give you that much of an advantage. So the, the slowest car was like, you know, two minutes slower than me. So they let him go out two minutes uh, before me. And so I saw all the other cars go. I finally go out on the track. Um, it's a very exciting moment because I have big red, I have tons of power. I'm in the back of the group and I'm just about to start eating them all up. And as soon as I get on the gas, I can tell there's engine trouble and you know, your heart sinks and you're like, oh God, not now, but oh yes, that's racing and that happens. And so I had to bring it in. And lucky I did, because if I would have stayed out, we would have really hurt it, but it was a little hurt anyway, um, which is another segment that you can see uh, that we actually pull in. Uh, something broke and, you know, got to bring it back in, so very disappointing. But that's racing. Yeah, I went out on the track and I can immediately feel that something, something was wrong with the power. And uh, I wasn't sure at first, you know, but, you know, I kept as I went around the turns, I realized, you know, there's no point in continuing to run it and break it because it definitely would have broken if I would have continued to run it. And we, um, the rocker got loose and uh, the, I think a rod went through the, a piston, so we lost a, a piston and a rod and we probably have to sleeve one of the pistons and that kind of thing, but it wasn't a total loss, as can sometimes be the case when these engines uh, blow up. So that was, uh, that was pretty much the end of our weekend. We'll be back next year and you know, we'll try to do it again. So stick around and make sure you subscribe for more Big Red content.